Today, I think is, I hope, will be a historic event. I know it's an important event where the hospital here is embarking upon a campaign to weigh into this opioid crisis. Uh, it's been going on for years, and I will not, again, couch my words. Uh, there's a lot of Suboxone clinics out there. Um, they're, not, they're not the cure. There's so many, so many people overdosing on Suboxone. Uh, they take the product. They take so much of it to resell, so it's created its own black market. It's just another opioid for opioid. This product with Vivitrol is an inhibitor, it's an antagonist. It will, and I know you've talked to some of the people that's been in the program for more than a year, sharing with you what it's done for their lives. And if we just reach a few more like that, I think that's successful. I think we need to reach many, many more. Well, like anything, you start one step at a time. Whenever they enter into the lab, I explain to them that we're going to be doing a urine drug screen and I try to make the situation very comfortable for the recipient. Um, I just explain to them what we're going to do. I try to stay positive with them, just make it a comfortable experience for them. It really touches my heart because I really want to see our area just come clean and I've had family members that we've dealt with it with our family members and anything that I can do to give them some kind of words of encouragement or anything I want to I really want to help these people I really do Well, I'm really happy that the hospital has decided to go with this program. Um, and like I said earlier, it's not just for people that are under any kind of an um, involvement with the criminal system in any way. This is, uh, this is for anybody in the community that's struggling with an addiction. Um, just about every family you run to or just about every family nowadays has someone in their family that's um, struggling with it. So I think a lot of times we get calls, people just don't know where to go for help. They just need to know um, what resources are out there. Um, and like I said before, it's not a cookie cutter, it's probably not for everyone, but they can give it a shot to see if it would work. Um, like I said, it's open for the community, they can call the hospital or they can call Williamson Family Care and, you know, just try to talk to them about it a little bit and see if it is something that could be, you know, work for them or work for someone in their family. You know, this is just a step in our direction to help the community to offer something that may, may bring change. You know, it's opioid free, there's no withdrawal. You know, in 28 days, if the person doesn't come right then to get the shot, there's no withdrawal. There's no opioid contained in injection at all. But addiction has touched my family to an extent, and I know what it's like to be disappointed, worried, scared, upset, the feelings of hopelessness. And I'm excited to see change. When I see people come in and they're excited, hey, I did this today, hey, I did that today, I'm not craving anything. I get up in the morning and I'm not looking for something to take. I don't need this. You know, I want to go to school. You know, I want to work a job. You know, I want to make my family work. I want my kids back. You know, whereas before, when they were in active addiction, nothing mattered but their addiction. So to me, it's just seeing people's lives change, people being happy. That's what it's all about. People need help. I mean, if you're in active addiction and you know you want to try the Vivitrol shop, please come out. Please come to the Williamson Family Care Center. Uh, feel free to call them, 304-235-2930, uh, make an appointment. Uh, they will get you set up, provide you the necessary information that's needed. Uh, then you'll progress in the program from there but I highly recommend it. And then from the stories that's been told today of real life people, you know, that came to tell their story of how it's changed their life is truly amazing to me as well. I've had 20 some years of addiction, active addiction with about everything you could think of. Uh, it's helped me turn my life around and get my life back on track. Uh, I've got custody of my kid. It's, I'm able to be active in his life. Uh, the Vivitrol's really helped me tremendously. Like it's got my mind back to where, you know, it, on a routine to where I can live my life the way I was before I got on drugs. You know, if you're if you're at that point in your life where you're thinking about it, you need to have an open mind and try to try to go this way. I mean, it's. 
it's an amazing feeling whenever you can turn your life around and you, you can walk out in the community and people's not worrying about getting something stolen or something like that. They're actually coming to you to ask you to help them. You know, it's a it's an amazing feeling once you get your life turned back around. Our community needs all we can get, you know, to all of us stand together and I'm nervous as could be. I don't normally do this, but I'm willing to step out of my comfort zone to help somebody if I can because we all need help.